Hi, I'm Lars. Nico. Chris. Georgia, and we're all designers for LEGO Ninjago. And today we're going to take a sneak peek at the upcoming LEGO Ninjago movie and introduce you to Ninjago City. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Ninjago City is built vertically instead of horizontally, with new layers being built on top of old. In fact, this allowed us to approach this model in a modular fashion, with each level being easy to remove. Also, in the movie, Ninjago City is a vast metropolis with something for everyone. Therefore, with this model, we were able to include some unique details and building techniques, like the brick-built water, which was built using multiple plate layers to add detail and depth, or the brick-built comic book shop sign, which was achieved by creating a new decoration. Fortunately, we got to work with a cool animation studio in Australia called Animal Logic, so not just one designer, or even four, can say that this is their model. Also, as you can see, there is a lot of writings around the city in a language that I bet you've never seen before. It's a brand new alphabet that we developed specially for the movie. And by building this model, you actually get a chance to learn it by using building instructions. So I'll leave it all to you. As Lloyd arrives at the base of the city, he enters the old world. Here, he can find a fish market and a small shack, which is home to a maintenance robot. Walking around the streets, he passes by Ninjago City's only public telephone, and ends up on an ancient stone bridge. From here, he can see a two-story apartment, which includes special printed rice paper doors, and a brand new railing element created specifically for the movie. Next, it's onto the elevator system. Up we go. Let's take a look at the citizens we meet at this level. It's been really fun to design. Especially Kai, in his new jacket with decorated sleeves. So here we are on the shop street now. First thing Lloyd likes to do is to check the flicks like Shadow of Running here, or if we flick the sign, we can find the upcoming ones, like for instance, Return of the Brick Sapper. So now, while Garmadon and his shark army are planning the attack on the city, Lloyd can actually take a break and stop in for a quick bite. By passing these neat boiling all details, we know something good's cooking inside. Inside the well-known crab kitchen, Lloyd orders his favorite, the world famous grilled crab, and you can prepare this for him with the working grill. Simply put in a fresh crab, close the lid, flip the dial, and ooh, see how the crab is being grilled? Mmm, delicious. After all, you can't be a ninja on an empty stomach. After eating, Lloyd decides to walk over to the local comic book store, and on the way thinks it'd be a great idea to get some cash from the ATM. This is easy, by simply pushing the button at the back, watch as the money is dispensed from the front. Okay. So let's see what the comic book shop has to offer today. The comic shop is filled with cool details. To have a more easier exit, just remove the top. Inside you will find trading cards, reference different themes from the past. You can even find ninja dolls. They're action figures. Yeah, okay, action figures. You might know which one Lloyd is gonna buy. Next, Lloyd enters a trendy fashion shop. Here, he can find the latest Wukugi, as well as many awesome hats. Afterwards, he takes a shortcut home through this old construction site, which has been overgrown with this beautiful cherry blossom bonsai tree. So here we meet some more modern citizens suited well for the shop street, like the crab chef or the comics guy. Especially this little dude, he's the biggest fan of the Green Ninja, who's based on the real-life six-year-old, who actually happens to be my son, and who really loves to sneak and lurk around their office. So after a great day exploring the city, Lloyd decides it's time to go home. To access Lloyd's apartment, simply remove the roof. And inside, you might just notice that this is where Lloyd hides his ninja outfit. His identity is so secret, even his mother doesn't know that he's the famous green ninja. Inside, you'll see that his apartment is very cramped, with the lounge, kitchen, and bedroom all occupying the same space. One key detail to notice is the bunk beds, which actually fit two minifigures. Later that evening, Lloyd goes to the rooftop sushi restaurant for some food. You can activate the sushi bar by turning the light and watch as the sushi travels around the track. The restaurant also has a bathroom, which can be accessed by removing the top of the tower. Oh, and Chris, we keep forgetting one thing. Mm. You can actually remove the toilet, and it's not what you expect to find, really. It's just a hat and a fake mustache that works as a disguise uh, for the crab chef from below who's actually secretly moonlighting and working as a sushi chef at nights. So we already met the famous green ninja, Laloid, but here we also meet his mom, who is exclusive to this set in her casual outfit. You should really wonder if she has any secrets. Hope you had a good day in Jago City. Ninjago! Ninjago!